ex-Fleet Street editor Roy Greensled should have been more honest over his obnoxious lifelong support for the IRA, the former editor of The Guardian said yesterday. Alan Rusbridger said Mr. Greenslid, 74, who worked for him at the newspaper, ought to have been frank about his own political beliefs and attachments when writing about Northern Ireland matters. He merged his former newspaper to include disclaimers on articles which remain online. The Guardian is investigating a complaint made by Maria Cahill, who was attacked in a 2014 article by Mr. Greenslid after disclosing an alleged rape by an IRA member. Mr. Greenslid said the former Sinn Féin member should have disclosed that she was previously a member of a dissident Republican organization with an anti-Sinn Féin agenda and accused a BBC documentary outlining her claims as lacking political balance, while hiding his own support for the IRA and Sinn Féin. In an article for the British Journalism Review, which emerged at the weekend, Mr. Greenslid, a former editor of the Daily Mirror and journalism lecturer, described how he was a supporter of IRA violence and wrote for the Republican newsletter in Foblack under a pseudonym. While doing so, Mr. Greenslid worked for newspapers which vociferously opposed IRA terrorism. He later became The Guardian's long-standing media columnist, but occasionally wrote about Ulster, before retiring last year. Last night Mr. Rusbridger, editor of The Guardian from 1995 to 2015, said, all editors must wish he had been transparent at the time rather than leaving this until after he retired. The best route to trust is transparency, and I suspect all the editors that Roy worked for, not to mention the readers, wish Roy had been more transparent about his own political beliefs. Referring to the piece attacking Miss Kay Hill, he added, I think it would have been better for Roy to have been frank about his own political beliefs and attachments. I think it would serve readers well to append the articles that remain online, noting what he has now made public about his beliefs and attachments. Mr. Rusbridger stressed that Mr. Greenslid had no one put into any Guardian editorial line on Northern Ireland, adding, I find support for the IRA obnoxious. A Guardian spokesman said its independent reader's editor was investigating. Mr. Greenslid could not be reached for comment. By Jack Elsom and James Robinson for Mail Online. A former Fleet Street editor last night sparked further outrage by attempting to defend his comments about his secret long-standing support for the IRA. The erstwhile Guardian columnist today claimed he did nothing more than scores of journalists who keep political views to themselves in sympathizing with atrocities committed by paramilitary forces. It comes after the former Daily Mirror editor resigned as an honorary visiting professor of journalism at City, University of London yesterday following a backlash from much of the industry and families of the victims of the IRA. But his attempts to defend his remarks today sparked further fury from industry chiefs, who described his comments as totally reprehensible. Toby Granville, the editorial director of local news publisher, News Quest, said the remarks were totally reprehensible. In a post on Twitter, he said, Roy Greenslid's claims that scores of journalists secretly support terrorism just like him is totally reprehensible and a slight on our industry.